So, um, but first of all, first question, what type of mindset did you need in racing to be competitive and successful? Well, I've always been described as th that I was too nice, um, which, um, so any of my competitors, I've never had a relationship where I like, I hate that guy. You know, I've never had that. And you have a lot of guys like that, drivers. They just don't get along and they don't talk to others. They keep to themselves. Um, but once I had my helmet on, then they weren't friends anymore. So outside the carpet, I was just normal with everybody. But inside, I got down to business. And even if it was uh, one of my better friends, you know, if I had to block him for the win, I still did. So, um, but uh, the mindset that you have to have to win is, I mean, you have, the will to win is, is easy if everything is going smoothly with the racing team because the team is about mechanics, engineers, sponsors. Right. Does the team have enough money to do some testing right. to make the car better? So it's not just about me. You can have all the will to win in the world, but if your car isn't really working, you're not going to win. Yep. Um, so it's about to be successful, you have to surround yourself with the right people if you can. That's a good example, definitely. Because if you have, a, you know, it's like in business. If you have three partners in a business and you have one guy that works really hard, one that doesn't do anything at all, and the other guy might be, you know, 50%, you know, as far as driven and as far as going for it, you know, the, you can't carry the business on your own shoulders. So when you do have a partnership together, you have to move forward together and all at the same, you know, level of input. Right. So just like any successful company and any successful racing team, everybody is fully focused on winning. Um, yeah, on being, on, on succeeding. Okay. Because winning is a big word. Uh, sometimes they say, uh, oh, you finish second, you're the first loser, which I think is, is a, is a bad expression mm -hmm. because uh, you know, like if you look at the Olympics and you win a silver medal, you beat thousands of people because in order to qualify for the Olympics, you need to be pretty good in your own country. Right. And uh, so, in order to succeed, you need to obviously have good people around you and work with good people. 